Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time. The last time I did a video is when I come back from holiday from Tunisia. That's another story. In today's video, we're going to be going over our annual top 10, top 10 killer bachelors. Not 20 this year because it's just too many. It's just, just too much. It's too much to, to take in. Do you know what I mean? Really? Because most of the time, I only, I only end up using about bloody three or four anyway. But these are the ones, these are all the lures that have actually, that were were good for us in 2022 obviously this is for 2023 but obviously these are last year's lures right so the first lure on the on the um, uh, on the block is the pirate teaser now the pirate teaser what a killer lure now for me this the reason why this lure what the best scenario for me for using this lure is when the tide is really ripping through i mean like when you cast your tide up upwards you know that way and then before you know it, it's right right down there these lures to me come into their own that this that's when you know the the previous year we absolutely nailed it that's my favorite that lemon back one but there's there's so many new colors you have you have to check them out on the website other pirate lures or uh or the actual official what is it drake house lures or one of them they, they've they've got them on there's others lure fishing for bass have got them but they are I'll tell you what, they are killers. I'm going to really hammer them. We try. You see, one of the venues that we fished the previous year, that we we weren't really getting them. They, for some reason, they just didn't sit. Whenever we seem to go there, because obviously it's more of a nighttime venue anyway. You know, pitch black, middle of the night. Hence why we're probably using white lures. You know, and, and them about lures. That was when we get them, but we didn't seem to get them last year. So. Don't know why, that's just the way it is. Right, next kitty on the block is the IMA, IMA Hound Glide. Now, this lure is another killer. This is the nighttime one. I have got the cotton candy, but I, I lost that. I lost that when we was fishing. And that uh, that's also casts a mile, absolute blinding, blinding lure. I do prefer the cotton candy, but that one, that one was working as well at nighttime. Same sort of thing. It's a bit like the same sort of colours as the old uh, teaser, isn't it? Pretty much. I think that one glows a little bit. No, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's got a little bit of a glow belly, that one. Right. Next lure on the, uh, on the agenda is the Duo Realis. Now, Jesus Christ, I still laugh to myself when, about this lure because I've told you the story before of when, when I had it in my box. I never caught nothing of it on it. I gave it to bloody... Steve Lure, uh, Steve Wood had it off me, and bloody hell, would you believe it? It was his favourite, favourite lure. I'd got this one. He'd bought about five different ones, actually. He couldn't get hold of that one, that, the original one. I can't remember what it was called. I can't remember. But anyway, that's the uh, Giro Realis or something like that. Pencil Realis or something like that. Good rattle. You can, you can even hear it. Pitch black. You can hear it coming in. Killer. Right. Next on the kitty is the, uh, if I don't get them all, Tackle House 105. You can see the, the theme here. Look, another one. Look, see? Just like them ones. Night time, see? Pitch black. But that one seemed to come into its own towards the end. Uh, no, that's a lie, actually. I got it towards the end of our season. That bloody looks of rusted. I always think that they rust quickly on the uh, on the um, Tackle House V shallows. Obviously, this is the smaller one, the 105. The actual Tackle House Feed Shallow is not in the guide this year. It's not in it. Another killer. I've had, I think I had my biggest of the year on, on that last year, but funny enough, I never had had, I never had one over 60. All up to 59, 58, but not over 60. Steve Wood did. He, he had one about 63, but don't know why we never seem to find them real lumps. Having said that, I did. I had lost a bloody great killer trying to get it out the bloody... Onto an, into a drop net because we was fishing high up out of the water, but we we'll get to that in a bit. <sighs> Next on the list is the uh, the auto walker, still doing it, you know. Uh, I found early mornings this one. This is the Emil. Early mornings, if you can be bothered to get up, you know, when them little but mostly little bass, they just seem to hammer it. But whether they would. Uh, where would they go for anything? But what I like about this is it's it's another missile. It, 
it's just the shape of it it just casts like an absolute missile so that's the auto walker i've got about five of the other ones i can't be bothered to get them all out and show you to be honest it's not, it's not worth it right uh, next on the list is ah yes me old frosty yeah the zorus frosty still does it bloody hooks i'll tell you what invent hooks that don't bust i don't know yeah anyway zorus but this is the first i've had my lure box out for months honestly it's full of them loads of them loads more i could put in there but these we just like i said we're just doing 10 yeah the frosty another killer i've got another one of them oh yeah it's this one i think that one's that's the 500g oh, i can't remember what this one's called that ain't very good is it but anyway you can see what it looks like if you you know Another good and looks a bit better on that one. Right, next on the list is ah oh, my old baby, the old DC twelve. Jesus, you can't go wrong. That is a, just a lovely subsurface lure. The only thing, it's just the treble look affair again. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes it can be such a pain. I think I'm going barbless this year, or I'm going to crush the barbs down because. It's just so much asshole, do you know what I mean? It's got to be, it's got to be better for the fish, isn't it? At the end of the day, and hence that's why I like using these. It's only one hook, do you know what I mean? It's just easy, easier fishing, but they weren't really working so much where we where we was really hammering it. There's another DC twelve, like a pearl rainbow, exactly the one that Steve had his biggest uh, his biggest bass of the year was on that early early in the season, crystal clear water, early morning beautiful beautiful right what we got next is the um oh yeah the pays bass they've got two of these little things these are another one a little bit of sauce and seaweed on that the pays bass they um like soft plastic a bit like the fish minnow do you know what i mean same sort of thing they've got the the jointed head but this one jesus same again then that night, you know, I'll, I'll get into that when I get to the uh, to the killer, the number number ten, the absolute killer. Right, yeah, they got the old jointed head, but these were these worked worked well. Do you know what I mean? I just found that you know, just depending on how deep the water is or how fast you actually reel in. That's another that's another um, thing of point of interest because you know I watch people reeling in sometimes, and I think I never. Ever. If you reel in really fast, the bloody lure's going to come up, isn't it? But if you like to keep it slow, because that's how I feel, you you get the best results. I'm not saying you always do, but for me personally, it's always, always a slow retrieve. In fact, one night, I was actually absolutely hammering them. And Steve Wood was like saying, how come? And that's all it was. I was just reeling a lot, lot slower than what he was. I mean ridiculously slow and bang especially in the middle of the night that's to me that's that's what you got to do anyway what else we got oh yeah oh jesus the pick <laughs> fast hooks again pachenko uh 125 that is the rg i haven't got the uh 500g in that one i have to get one you know the fight uh obviously the pachenko that was that was in the lure guide last year anyway another another blinder but the real one See, once I come back off holiday, we went a couple of times. It didn't seem to get anything, but I started using the baby Pachenko, the 500G, that little baby, honestly. And that was was probably my most productive lure towards the end. I mean, after I'd come back from holiday, which was, was August, I mean, I'd only gone a handful of times anyway. I've not really been having to, just, just, to, just to work, down to work, really. Right then, so have we got all, most of them? There's a few little bonus ones. I think that's, uh, right, and last but not least, my lure of the season last year. It's the IMA Sonic 100. Jesus Christ, look, the hook's still bent. Still rusty, still bent. Jesus Christ, I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to go barbless this year, I'm sure. Now, this little baby has been was probably my best catcher of uh, of 2022 by a mile. I mean, we absolutely for two weeks, two weeks. I don't mean two weeks on the trot. I mean a week of high tides in the evening, late getting right late into the evening. You know, obviously when the tides change around again, and then that next week we absolutely hammered on hammered it but they didn't it wasn't all the time do you know what i mean i mean once after the second week of us 
doing really well. It seemed to pretty much peter off pretty, you know, it's just the way it goes, I suppose. It's just the probably move, feeding patterns change. I don't know, maybe just they just weren't there. But this lure, ouch, absolutely nailed it for me. And um, see, the thing is with this, what I found is over the lower, lower sort of uh, low tide marks, it it wasn't so good because unless you're really in really deeper water, it, it's going to get snagged. You know what I mean? But where we, because we was fishing high, high off the ground, you know, I mean, well, high off the prom, quite a way down. We had to use a, like I said, we had to use a drop net. This was perfect. It was just fishing because sometimes when I fished it, you know, off higher, off a high tides, higher off the, you know, like commanders, they're on the surface all the time. I don't mean to say you're not going to catch, but anyway, this little bugger done the business for us but i've also got it in the um in the mackerel oh look at that even that worked at night time brilliant maybe it's that yellow thing because like i said the the chart colors seem to work great but not not as good as that one and i also got it in the white but i've never caught bugger on the white one but i must admit i got that to what i got that after we had had the the great the great sessions do you know what i mean so Maybe that's why but it's got to be definitely. I, I love white, white lures at night times, you know what I mean? But I ain't caught on that one yet. As you can see, the eggs are clean as a whistle. Anyway, so uh, that's my favourite lure for uh, 2022. Just go through a few bonus ones. Like I was saying about the, um, the, uh, the, the Hound Glide. Now, I'm going to give this a go this year. This is the, uh, the, the Eyeborn. I think it's the Eyeborn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Eyeborn. Yes, the eyeborn. And uh, why I like it is because it's only got them two bloody oaks. Do you know what I mean? It feels feels quite weight. I reckon that'll cast like a missile. I know they're good lures. I know people do use them. But I prefer prefer the two look hooker fans. Do you know what I mean? Right, the other one, I want another bloody killer. It's not in my guide for this year because, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. But the Fisher's Espetite surface lure that little baby it looks the same sort of color as the 500g you know i was recommended i think it's amber amber flash that one's cool but there's quite a few videos on youtube about the fishes minnow i don't know what it is why some lures just seem to you know some people swear by these things and the other one it's just this is another one that we had uh this is just a copy it's an axia but that lure Jesus, that's another one. More than one occasion, that has been the only thing that has seemed to have caught me a fish. Just a little old cheapo. Actually, you know, that's a, an Astri copy. That is absolutely blinded. Anyway, that's the end of the lure guide. They're the little bonus lures, them, them and ones. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, as usual. And um, make sure you like and subscribe. Any thoughts, leave leave a comment below and, and let me know what you think. You know, your opinions. Cause, I mean, it seems to be different. I mean, every time I look on the Facebook things, there's always new lures. I'm, I'm sick of it. I've got bloody bucket loads of the bloody things everywhere. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to get rid of a few on eBay anyway. There you go. Thanks for watching. All the best. See you in the next video.